Here in the Pacific Northwest, I think it's a very deceptive climate. I think a lot of people who live and play here think that they're protected from the sun because of our gray, cloudy days. The UVA rays specifically will come through those clouds at all times of day, all year round. The sunnier the day is, the higher the UV index, the more UVB rays will get to the, the Earth's surface and increase your risk for a sunburn, which we know will increase your risk for skin cancer. So it's not just about the burns and getting a base tan before going away to vacation won't necessarily help. It actually is harmful to do that. There is no safe tan. Sunscreen has been proven to prevent premature aging and skin cancer, so it works. When I look for sunscreens, I look for three things. I wanna see that it's a broad spectrum sunscreen. I wanna see that it's got an SPF of a 30 or above, and then I wanna know whether or not it's water resistant or very water resistant. If you have an SPF 30, you're gonna be blocking about 97% of the UV rays. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that patients make is they don't apply enough sunscreen. So you have to use at least one ounce or a shot glass full of sunscreen to minimize the amount of goop you have to reapply every couple hours and really run with those sun protective clothing. And you wanna look for 50 plus and that means it's gonna block 98% of the sun's rays. I think that everyone can be um, what the American Academy of Dermatology is pushing to be their own uh, skin cancer hero right now. They can actually get to know their own skin and really develop a systematic way to check their skin for any changes.